Quantity, Wikipedia Audio Quantity is a property that can exist as a multitude or magnitude. Quantities can be compared in terms of more, less, or equal, or by assigning a numerical value in terms of a unit of measurement. Quantity is among the basic classes of things along with quality, substance, change, and relation. Some quantities are such by their inner nature, while others are functioning as states of things such as heavy and light, long and short, broad and narrow, small and great, or much and little. Two basic divisions of quantity, magnitude and multitude, imply the principal distinction between continuity and discontinuity. Under the name of multitude come what is discontinuous and discrete and divisible into indivisibles, all cases of collective nouns, army, fleet, flock, government, company, party, people, chorus, crowd, mess, and number. Under the name of magnitude come what is continuous and unified and divisible into divisibles, all cases of non-collective nouns, matter, mass, energy, liquid, material. Background Along with analyzing its nature and classification, the issues of quantity involve such closely related topics as the relation of magnitudes and multitudes, dimensionality, equality, proportion, the measurements of quantities, the units of measurements, number, and numbering systems, the types of numbers and their relations to each other as numerical ratios. Thus quantity is a property that exists in a range of magnitudes or multitudes. Mass, time, distance, heat, and angular separation are among the familiar examples of quantitative properties. Two magnitudes of a continuous quantity stand in relation to one another as a ratio which is a real number. 1.76 liters of milk, a continuous quantity, 2 pi r meters, where r is the length of a radius of a circle expressed in meters, also a continuous quantity, 1 apple, 2 apples, 3 apples where the number is an integer representing the count of a denumerable collection of objects, 500 people, a couple conventionally refers to two objects, a few usually refers to an indefinite, but usually small number, greater than one, quite a few also refers to an indefinite, but surprisingly large number. Several refers to an indefinite, but usually small, number usually indefinitely greater than a few dot, OPEC has a few members. In mathematics, the concept of quantity is an ancient one extending back to the time of Aristotle and earlier. Aristotle regarded quantity as a fundamental ontological and scientific category. In Aristotle's ontology, quantity or quantum was classified into two different types which he characterized as follows. In his Elements, Euclid developed the theory of ratios of magnitudes without studying the nature of magnitudes, as Archimedes, but giving the following significant definitions. For Aristotle and Euclid, relations were conceived as whole numbers. John Wallace later conceived of ratios of magnitudes as real numbers as reflected in the following. That is, the ratio of magnitudes of any quantity, whether volume, mass, heat, and so on, is a number. Following this, Newton then defined number, and the relationship between quantity and number, in the following terms. By number we understand not so much a multitude of unities, as the abstracted ratio of any quantity to another quantity of the same kind, which we take for unity. Continuous quantities possess a particular structure that was first explicitly characterized by Holder as a set of axioms that define such features as identities and relations between magnitudes. In science, 
quantitative structure is the subject of empirical investigation and cannot be assumed to exist a priori for any given property. The linear continuum represents the prototype of continuous quantitative structure as characterized by Holder. A fundamental feature of any type of quantity is that the relationships of equality or inequality can in principle be stated in comparisons between particular magnitudes, unlike quality, which is marked by likeness, similarity, and difference, diversity. Another fundamental feature is additivity. Additivity may involve concatenation such as adding two lengths A and B to obtain a third A and B additivity is not, however, restricted to extensive quantities but may also entail relations between magnitudes that can be established through experiments that permit tests of hypothesized observable manifestations of the additive relations of magnitudes. Another feature is continuity, on which Mitchell says of length, as a type of quantitative attribute, what continuity means is that if any arbitrary length, A, is selected as a unit, then for every positive real number, R, there is a length B such that B equals R A. A further generalization is given by the theory of conjoint measurement, independently developed by French economist Gerard de Bru and by the American mathematical psychologist R. Duncan Luce and statistician John Tukey. Magnitude and multitude, the two principal types of quantities, are further divided as mathematical and physical. In formal terms, Quantities their ratios, proportions, order, and formal relationships of equality and inequality are studied by mathematics. The essential part of mathematical quantities consists of having a collection of variables, each assuming a set of values. These can be a set of a single quantity, referred to as a scalar when represented by real numbers, or have multiple quantities as do vectors and tensors two kinds of geometric objects. The mathematical usage of a quantity can then be varied and so is situationally dependent. Quantities can be used as being infinitesimal, arguments of a function, variables in an expression, or probabilistic as in random and stochastic quantities. In mathematics, magnitudes and multitudes are also not only two distinct kinds of quantity but furthermore relatable to each other. Quantitative Structure Number theory covers the topics of the discrete quantities as numbers, number systems with their kinds and relations. Geometry studies the issues of spatial magnitudes, straight lines, curved lines, surfaces and solids, all with their respective measurements and relationships. A traditional philosophy of mathematics, stemming from Aristotle and remaining popular until the 18th century, held that mathematics is the science of quantity. Quantity was considered to be divided into the discrete and the continuous. The theory fits reasonably well elementary or school mathematics but less well the abstract topological and algebraic structures of modern mathematics. Establishing quantitative structure and relationships between different quantities is the cornerstone of modern physical sciences. Physics is fundamentally a quantitative science. Its progress is chiefly achieved due to rendering the abstract qualities of material entities into physical quantities, by postulating that all material bodies marked by quantitative properties or physical dimensions are subject to some measurements and observations. Setting the units of measurement, physics covers such fundamental quantities as space and time, mass and force, temperature, energy, and quanta. A distinction has also been made between intensive quantity and extensive quantity as two types of quantitative property, state, or relation. The magnitude of an intensive quantity does not depend on the size, or extent, 
of the object or system of which the quantity is a property, whereas magnitudes of an extensive quantity are additive for parts of an entity or subsystems. Thus, magnitude does depend on the extent of the entity or system in the case of extensive quantity. Examples of intensive quantities are density and pressure, while examples of extensive quantities are energy, volume, and mass. In human languages, including English, number is a syntactic category, along with person and gender. The quantity is expressed by identifiers, definite and indefinite, and quantifiers, definite and indefinite, as well as by three types of nouns, one count unit nouns or countables, two mass nouns, uncountables, referring to the indefinite, unidentified amounts, 3. Nouns of multitude The word number belongs to a noun of multitude standing either for a single entity or for the individuals making the whole. An amount in general is expressed by a special class of words called identifiers, indefinite and definite and quantifiers, definite and indefinite. The amount may be expressed by singular form and plural from, ordinal numbers before a count noun singular, the demonstratives, definite and indefinite numbers and measurements, or cardinal numbers before count nouns. The set of language quantifiers covers a few, a great number, many, several, a bit of, a little, less, a great deal of, much, all, plenty of, a lot of, enough, more, most, some, any, both, each, either, neither, every, no. For the complex case of unidentified amounts, the parts and examples of a mass are indicated with respect to the following, a measure of a mass, a piece or part of a mass, or a shape of a container. Some further examples of quantities are Quantity in mathematics Quantity in physical science Quantity in natural language Further examples <laughs>